What is human enhancement? What is it to be enhanced? This show is all about opening up questions about what it is to be human and where we might go as a species. We're not presenting a utopian vision of the future. Uh, we're not presenting the, the ubermensch, but we're presenting just a series of questions and provocations. Human Plus is all about showing diversity and all of the potential futures that might uh, occur. For me, this is a conversation that we're holding about our future through technology. And at the heart of every technology is a wish. I wish I could have an extra head or an extra ear. Uh, the prosthetic head is an embodied conversational agent. Uh, you ask it a question and it responds uh, with an answer. Boredom is a human emotion. Don't get metaphysical on me. Well, what's interesting is when the head says unexpected things. So the more and more the database has uh, extended in size, the less and less the artist can predict uh, what the head will say. They're, they're designed to be provocative, to actually make you think about if you had a robot, how would you want its appearance to be and how would you want it to behave as well? You know, some of these heads, they actually give an idea of what their function is, like the security robot next generation sequencing and the immediate changes that that can make in terms of improving uh, people's ability to avoid disease right now and also to uh, you know probably eliminate those things in the future and you know where is genetic enhancement going to go it's a huge question the first base courses that are produced were intended to in, um, alter the structure of the wearer's space temporarily to mimic uh, various kind of cosmetic procedures we've gone through a period of um, extreme cosmetic surgery and people are trying to kind of um, uh, achieve a more kind of a, a blank template of a human face so to speak so it's kind of um, uh, rendered without age, without gender uh, and without ethnicity so it's the garments and the way in which we present the face and the, and the body that are going to be ways in which people define their personalities. Uh, this ear really is a kind of internet organ uh, for people in other places to be able to remotely listen in. Instead of talking about enhancements, perhaps the idea of exploring alternate anatomies, the idea that the body becomes an extended operational system, but also a body that is trans-species, as well as trans-human. I love this exhibition. It's stunning, really well put together. Uh, some beautiful exhibits. I'd like to play with some of them a bit more. I'd like to play with the one upstairs, the, uh, when you, the face you can ask questions, so it's a brilliant idea. You know, the ideas behind everything, some of them are really interesting. The, there was the plant that's connected to, uh, it's a Home Depot guaranteed plant and it's connected to their share price, which is like, which is brilliant and it gets water according to the share price. The 3D printout of the emotional responses from the brain, I thought that was amazing. Find your own wish somewhere maybe in this gallery space and think about the potential of that wish, of its ability perhaps to shape the future. And if it can shape the future, then what shape would your future take?